Okay, so you're going to want to make your level. I'm going to just call it art. And like I said before, I'm just going to go to the middle of the level. Like I said before, this dot is a lifesaver. This is literally the base of any art you're creating. And today we're creating sunset art. So I'm creating my sun here because that's basically what this is, is sunset. And you can see I'm rotating the circles around to create its own big circle. Just like that. And that'll be about 200 objects at the most. If you really want to make it clean, which it looks clean enough, it'll be like 500. To fill it in, I'm using the same strategy. As you can see, I'm creating this like line and then I'm just going to rotate it around. And the whole thing should take up about 300 blocks, maybe. You know, like, yeah, 296. So not that bad. Now, I just pasted that in from my level solitude, which is where I made my first sunset art. This is the ground. And so that is not confusing. I'm going to show you what this is. Now here's just the first layer of the ground. It's just... A bunch of this standard square blocks rotated a bunch just to make it look bumpy in like a ground and then I uh, just put in like I guess you would call it the soil which it's not really colored that way then to make it bigger I just copied it over again and rotated it to give it some more variation make sure you know your layers I set the layers wrong for this. So the ground, you see I'm making multiple layers of the ground. I'm going to call these ground different layers of the ground. There's I think four layers of my ground, I guess the fifth if you count the, the base of it. And I'm setting it for like a blue, a nice soft blue and don't change the hue. I did that wrong. Saturation will change it lighter or darker. And each one is going to be the same color of blue but with a different sh saturation. Each layer of the ground and you're gonna to want to set the layers I did it wrong in this video you're gonna to want to set the layers to two apart so the first one that's all the way in the back at the first Z layer the second one at three the third one at five the fourth one at seven and then the final bottom at nine so you can kind of see what I'm doing here I'm kind of just using the same thing rotating it making it look different placing it in different areas and it really starts to look like mountains in the distance now. Especially when you start changing around the saturation to each one. That's too bright. And now, yeah, I had some trouble trying to find a good saturation for this one. 78's nice. 70 is the exact replica of that one. And I made the sun too small. So I resized it. And now it looks pretty nice for the mountains wise. Now I have this big glow. You can go into any level. You don't need the scale hack. If you just look up scale hack and then copy it into a custom block, you'll have it. I'm setting this all the way in the back at B4 negative 10. I'm giving it a nice sunset purplish pink. See, I'm trying to find the right color for this. Like that. And the opacity, I set that too low. You're going to want the opacity at almost at max. Not quite. And then turn up the saturate, turn down the saturation. Move it up and copy it over to just kind of like make a wall in the background. And that's going to make it look like the sun's actually setting. That's going to look very nice there. Now I'm doing the same thing but with a smaller glow block. And I'm setting this in front of the sun, which the sun is in between this glow and the background glow. So this is kind of laying over the sun, setting it to like a pinkish red. And yeah, I had to set it all the way back, this is the order. Setting it to like a, a pinkish red, so we have a purplish in the background and a reddish here. And I had to set the sun to the right Z order. And this one to that. So that's negative 10 for back, negative 9 for sun, and negative 8 for this one. I'm copying that over, and now you can kind of see it start to take shape or take color, I should say. 
can see I'm kind of messing with the saturation. You just mess around with that stuff, see what works best. And now see the sun is kind of glowing there, where it's starting to set. I really like that. Now here's where I'm setting the ground. I'm setting this as black, because the second channel is always black. I'm just going to kind of rotate this around a little bit, set this in a good area. You don't want this extruding out of the ground a whole lot. This is just kind of the floor. And this would look a lot better without that line there, I never took it away. But make sure you take away that line, then it'll not be so... Then it'll look a lot more realistic. So now you can see we have each of the layers of the mountains, and the glow is set in the background. Now, I am going to set the glow for the mountains. This is going to make the mountains really pop off. This is what's going to make the level look a lot better. I'm just setting it as a white glow using, I think it's a five scale. Again, if you just look up scale hack, you'll find stuff just like this. And I'm going to set it, I slowed it down here. Slow down the video here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm setting it literally as a wall, and now it's going to speed up again while I create this wall. So again, it's just like that kind of line of glow. And then I'm going to set that, this is why we set the layers two apart. This is behind the ground, but in front of all of these mountains. So it's at eight, because the ground is at nine, and then the highest mountain is at seven. Now I'm doing it like a staircase. Next is six, so that it's behind seven, but over five. And setting is the same thing. It's going to look a lot pretty bright, so I set this at a lower opacity. And now I'm going to want to do that again for this last one. So this will be behind five, but above three. So now you can see how it, each mountain is kind of coming off of the other one. So that's why I'm setting that at four, so that it's behind five, above three. And now, it should look pretty good. Now I'm setting the background to, I was going to set it to a nice sky blue first, but that's not what you want. That does not look good. You're going to want to set it to a, a, a purplish, just like that. And now, I'm going to show you how to make the clouds. Again, use this dot. Such a lifesaver. When it's scaled to two, you just have to hit the arrow twice, and then you can just make your line with it. And it looks very crisp and clean, so that's nice. Now I'm going to use these quarter of a circles and just create the first layer of the clouds. And the clouds are not complex at all. I hardly even have to narrate this part. Pretty modern looking clouds, and I'm gonna have to move this over a bit. You're not gonna want the clouds to be symmetrical. You're gonna see this is the mistake I make at first. That doesn't look good. That's a symmetrical cloud, doesn't even look like a cloud. You can even extend this a little bit, which I'm gonna do here. And that'll look nice. Then I'm gonna create the second cloud in the same way, but I'm gonna make it just a bit smaller. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. just like that and then uh, I made the mistake at first of having them up too high so I had to move them down and I linked them together yeah at first they were too high so I went and moved them down and I set them on I set everything at the group of one so that it can move them you can set them whatever group you need to and then put it right in the middle that's where you're going to want to place the trigger, right in the middle, move it over two and a half, so that it's on that line. And then it'll be perfectly in place in the center. 
And just like that, I think that looks pretty good. 